not enough to call Resident Evil 4 one of the highlights of Capcom's long-running survival horror series, because this is probably the single greatest horror-themed action game ever created. Resident Evil 4 is an amazing achievement in a variety of ways. Its inspired state-of-the-art cinematic presentation works incredibly well with its relentlessly exciting white-knuckle action, all of which is wrapped up in a lengthy adventure chock full of hidden secrets and bonus extras. It obviously isn't for the squeamish or for those otherwise not qualified to play this gory, mature-rated GameCube game, which is too bad for those people because it's hard to imagine anyone else not being consistently thrilled and impressed by what Resident Evil 4 has to offer. In case it isn't clear, you don't need to be a Resident Evil fan to appreciate Resident Evil 4. However, Resident Evil fans will recognize the game's protagonist, Leon S. Kennedy, a wisecracking government agent investigating an inconspicuous European village where the U.S. president's missing daughter was supposedly sighted. Experiencing the events of the game without really knowing what else to expect is a big part of the fun, so suffice it to say the story is filled with surprises and it further does a great job of continually ratcheting up the sense of danger and tense excitement you'll feel right from the get-go. Resident Evil 4 is being appropriately billed as the game that takes the series in a bold new direction. This seems immediately apparent just moments after the game begins, when Leon is confronted not by the sorts of mindless zombies that typified previous Resident Evil installments, but by a crazy man with an axe. The game's humanoid enemies seem much more unsettling than your typical zombies, since you won't really know what motivates them, their suicidal methods seem so inexplicable. Still, it'll take just one good slash of a sickle or one pitchfork gouging to teach you to terminate these savages without a second thought their creepy, memorable foes, and without spoiling anything, let's just say they're just the tip of the iceberg. Despite Resident Evil 4's unique controls and perspective, it's easy to come to grips with how the game is played. In fact, it might leave you wondering why it took someone so long to pull off a game in this fashion, because the controls and perspective work so well. Resident Evil 4 is presented in cinematic widescreen, so if you have a standard television set, you'll view the action in letterbox format. This not only contributes to the game's movie-like feel, but it also gives you some much-needed peripheral vision of your surroundings. You view the action from behind Leon, and the perspective zooms into a close, over-the-shoulder view when you ready a weapon, which you can easily aim using its laser sight. Realistically, Leon doesn't have a perfectly steady hand when aiming, but since most of the combat occurs in brutal close quarters, you don't usually need pinpoint accuracy to get the job done. You cannot move and fire at the same time, nor can you strafe from side to side as you can in a typical shooter, though Resident Evil 4 plays very much like a shooter otherwise. The zoomed view while aiming works great for drawing a beat on your enemies, but you naturally lose some of your situational awareness in the process because you can see more of your periphery when you're not focusing on what's in front of you. This dynamic has an exceptional way of heightening tension, since your foes love to try to surround you. They move and behave with frightening realism in the context of the game, and overall the enemy design in Resident Evil 4 is truly outstanding. There are many things that look terribly lifelike and are going to send a chill down your spine, making you desperately want to kill them before they kill you first in some sort of horrible fashion. Fortunately, the controls feel like they're tuned just right to give the game the same sort of pacing inherent to an action horror movie. The game expertly makes you feel that you're both watching a freaky nail-biting movie about Leon and actually walking in his shoes. In fact, despite the high quality of the action, some of the best moments are the purely suspenseful ones when you're exploring while knowing full well that things aren't going to remain this quiet for long. Possibly the best thing about Resident Evil 4's actual gameplay is the incredible amount of care and attention to detail that clearly went into the core action. Leon's arsenal will expand to include shotguns, rifles, and automatics, and each of these causes a wholly satisfying and convincing result when used in any fashion against a given foe. For example, you can trip up an axe-wielding lunatic by shooting him in the knee, and then you can put him out of his misery with a subsequent shot to the head. Or you can stagger an enemy by shooting him in the midsection, and then send him careening into his cohorts with a mighty roundhouse kick. Incendiary grenades cause foes to burst into flames, while other explosions cause Leon to steady himself from their intense heat and blasts. The game features some subtle use of realistic physics and plenty of great little touches, such as how Leon can opt to either quietly open a door or violently kick it open. Many other context-sensitive actions are available throughout the game, giving you the impression that Leon is highly versatile and just possibly capable of dealing with all the horrors he'll have to confront here. One of the wonderful ways in which Resident Evil 4 plays with shooter conventions is that shooting things in the head isn't a surefire way to kill every foe, even though it often results in a spectacular splattering of all kinds of nauseating substances. 
though the weapons in Resident Evil 4 have a terrifically powerful feel to them, the game somehow manages to make its enemies seem like they're superhumanly strong as well, so you'll naturally start to consider new, unintuitive types of tactics. The feeling that you're heavily armed and yet faced with an unnatural enemy is often what makes the game seem so intense, which makes moments when you feel desperate and helpless seem that much more poignant when they occur. Resident Evil 4 is an action-adventure game with a heavy emphasis on action. There's rarely any question about where you're supposed to go next or what you're supposed to be doing, even though some of the environments are actually quite open-ended. The game is so action-packed that even some of the seemingly non-interactive cinematic cutscenes require fast reflexes on your part, so don't you dare put down the controller. A quick button press will cause you to make Leon avoid certain death, while a lack thereof, well, you'll see. Deviously, the button presses are randomized so that even if you memorize the circumstances of when you need to react, you'll still need to be careful. The game's occasional puzzle elements seem almost like concessions to diehard fans of the series, since they're rather simplistic and definitely take a backseat to the core shooting. But despite the downplaying of the puzzle elements, this is no mindless shooter, so you'll definitely need to think on your feet and take advantage of the environment to defeat some of your enemies. Some of the combat is definitely difficult, especially since many of your foe's attacks will rightfully inflict grievous damage or even kill you outright if you don't successfully avoid them. Resident Evil 4 is a single-player game, but don't let that stop you from inviting over all your friends so that they can gawk at it. It's also loaded with secrets and extras that can be found both during the course of the adventure and after unlocking them following the completion of the game. There's definitely a lot of lasting value here beyond the initial playthrough, and not just because it would naturally be fun to play through multiple times, but because there are clear incentives to go back through at least once again, as well as to explore some of the other extras. The bonus content serves to reinforce just how much effort must have gone into this game. Of course, effort alone isn't enough to make a game as good as Resident Evil 4. This is the result of an extreme level of talent on multiple fronts, and you need look no further than the presentation, as demonstrated by the graphics and sound, for proof. It's hard to decide whether the audio is even better than the visuals, but there's no question that these elements work extremely well together to create an incredibly atmospheric experience. Essentially, if you've been entertained by any other mature-rated action game recently, then chances are that this one is going to blow you away. It's really that good.